So I started as a, as a software engineer and I started doing el electronics about four years ago as I did s some small projects and then they grew a bit bigger in time. And one of the first projects I did and showed it publicly was a, a vast uh, drumming circle. It was done with two friends of mine, Jonathan Rubin and Asaf Talmudi. And we were approached by two architects who had a project at the Batyam Biennale for landscape uh, urbanism, uh, who built a green uh, pavilion at the Batyam shore, and they produced electricity from the sun and the wind, and they wanted to have a project that will show this use of green energy. So we suggested them to build uh, robotic drums who will, be, uh, who will play in real time from an iPad. And that's how it looked at the studio just after we built it. At the boardwalk, we put the drums uh, on the electricity poles, and it was a special, uh, special experience. When people just walked down the boardwalk, they heard some music playing, but they didn't realize that it's live. So they walked, and then it got stronger, and then they saw the drums playing. And we had musicians coming and playing with us. They wrote their own music, their own beats, uh, through the iPad. And then they played their original instruments. Another project dealt with the overexposure of information we have over the internet and I wanted to show this overexposure through a machine I built that is a graffiti printer. It's cellular, cellular based so that one can uh, use any information that it, ha that it has digitally on the cell phone and show it uh, with this kind of printer, felt marker printer. And I'll show you soon how it works. Here I, I make a physical check-in on a physical wall at my studio. So here I write a text message to the phone that's on the machine. 7 motors move up and down the 7 felt markers and they move uh, in a precise time so that uh, uh, w while I walk it through the wall it, uh, it, um, it, it is translated to a font basically so I can write text. This is the dance of the markers.
another painting machine. Thank you. Uses uh, four uh, colors, base colors, CMYK. And this machine knows to do a very simple thing. It, it knows to move uh, right and left, to stop at a location and put some paint at this location. And it can be very precise in both location and the amount of paint. And I wanted to use data and do some visualization of it. And here I used the data from Google Trends. And this is a tool that gives you the frequency of searches of uh, specific words over Google. So I made queries of four words, and each was word was uh, um, showed, shown by uh, a different color. So I take precise data and I add noise to it through gravitation and the position of the canvas and the dilution of the, of the paint. And eventually I make some abstraction through this uh, precise information. And since I like the result of this machine, I wanted to make it bigger. So I made a machine that is four over three uh, meters big. It's hanged from the ceiling, and the canvas now lies below it. It was the, at the opening event of the uh, Fresh pen Paint uh, Art Fair last year. And uh, it's, uh, it was also done in collaboration with Asaf Talmudi, who's there. And then at, at uh, the event, it was uh, a part of a performance. We had musicians coming, and the music was translated in real time to the painting. So you see that the musicians are actually watching the canvas and deciding what to play according to the visual effect they want to get.
Another very small workshop that I did was done at the demonstration back in 2011 at the Rothschild uh, tent dem demonstrations. And it was a very hot summer, and I wanted to give people something fun that uh, will chill them up a bit. So we built personal air conditioners with uh, plastic cups, some ice, uh, a computer ventilator and a battery. And the air got in through the ventilator and got out cold through a hole. And many people came, it was great fun. And I, I know it is not traditional, but one needs to make a living, so I'll end with a commercial. And that's a Pepsi commercial. And it's basically an interactive bus stop that uh, act is uh, acting according to the people who, who come and wait to, the, to their bus. And it has layers of sound added and visual effect through light. some sync problems. <laughs> the people didn't st uh, stuck, weren't stuck. I stuck, I stick. <laughs> it's real time. <laughs> oh, the movie does. Thank you. Leah, thank you very much. Uh